Good morning, everyone. This is Sarah with the Pickaway County Library, and I'm here to bring you our baby toddler story time. We're going to start out today with a song you probably already know. It's called The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Are you ready? We're going to make spiders out of our hands. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again good job you want to do that one more time with me here we go get your spiders ready the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again good job now the next thing we're going to do is read our story together our book today is who likes rain it's written by wong herbert yi and we're reading today's book with permission from macmillan publishers who likes rain on the window pane. Down, down, down come the drops of rain. Who wants rain? Who needs April showers? I know who. The trees and the flowers. Raindrops falling down in spring, hitting the awning. Ping, ping, ping. When it rains, who's the first to scat? I know. Do you? Mew, mew. It's the cat. Gurgle, gurgle, down the gutters, out the spout, the water splutters. Who likes rain? Not Papa's old truck. Who likes rain? Quack, quack. It's a duck. Pity, plip, plop. Pity, pat, splat. I can catch raindrops in my hat. When it rains, who comes out to squirm? I know. Do you? Creep, creep. It's a worm. Raindrops beat like a tom-tom drum. On my umbrella, rum-a-tum-tum. -tum. Who likes rain? Not my neighbor's dog. Who likes rain? Croak, croak. It's a frog. A wind comes swooshing through the trees. It shakes the raindrops from the leaves. Who likes rain? It jumps with a splash. I know, do you? Glub, glub. It's a fish. After a while, the showers stop. A few last drops fall, plip, plip, plop. Clouds break up, no need to huddle. All that's left is... One big puddle. Who likes rain even more than a duck? More than a frog in the muckety muck? Who needs rain besides trees and flowers? Who wants a day with April showers? Off comes the raincoat, boots, and hat. Who likes rain? I do. Curse black. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Thank you for reading along with me. This book and lots of others are available in the Youth Services Department and are ready and available for pickup or to be placed on hold. So get online or come in and see us and choose some books to read at home. The next part of our story time, we'll be using our sensory bin. In our sensory bin today, we will need some water, some blue food coloring, cotton balls, and some plastic people or animal toys. Let's see how we're gonna use this together. The first thing we're gonna do is put some water into our sensory bin. Then you're gonna add just a couple drops of blue food coloring. Don't need a lot. We don't wanna color the house. We just want enough to make our water a little bit blue. Give it a little mix there. Now, I have some plastic dinosaurs I'm going to add in. You can use plastic people, plastic animals, plastic bugs. I do recommend plastic just so that they are easily cleaned and dried off when you're finished with this. If you do use a clear bin, your blue food coloring will show up a little bit better than mine is. Then add some regular cotton balls. 
We now you can see some of that blue color on those. These are going to be our clouds. So they are soaking up all the water, getting nice and full, just like a rain cloud would. And add a few more in here. Now when the cotton balls are dry, they're nice and white. Once they soak that water up, they turn blue. So this is a good sensory experience for your little ones. They can feel how heavy the, the wet cotton balls are compared to how light they were when they were dry and how much water they soak up. You can practice one, seeing if you can get it to rain on top of your animals or your people. And if you put them back in, see if they soak up that water again. Now your little ones can just squeeze those and feel all the textures and see how they come together in a big clump. But when you put it back into the water, they come apart again. Just let your little ones explore this as much as they'd like. Do keep an eye on them so they do not try to eat these. So don't need anybody choking during our sensory play. For our activity today, we're going to create a rain wall. We'll need some white, yellow, and blue paper, some scissors, tape, and clear contact paper. Let's see how we're gonna put it all together. So for our rain wall activity, I have a piece of contact paper here on the wall. You can put one on your window. You just need the sticky side facing out. So I have added a couple little pieces of tape to each corner just so that the sticky side is facing me. And I have some clouds cut out of white paper. You can also cut that, those out of gray or black to make them look like storm clouds. I have some lightning bolts out of yellow and some raindrop shapes, They're little teardrop shapes cut out of blue. You can cut out as many or as few of those items as you would like. And then you're going to allow your little one just to place them wherever they would like on their rain wall. So you can talk about where the clouds might be. If it's a cloudy day, maybe they're at the top. If it's a very foggy day, maybe the clouds are are a little lower. And then you can put some lightning bolts up there. Do they come from the clouds or do they come from the ground? Wherever you would like to put those and add some raindrops in there. You can practice counting these as you put them up. You can talk about maybe what shape they are. Maybe your little one would like to put them upside down like this. And that is completely okay. This is a very open-ended process. And as long as you leave this up on the window or the wall, your little ones can continue to add to it throughout the day. Or just come over and kind of touch it and feel that texture. They may even try to take things back off of the wall. And that's okay too. They're just practicing those fine motor skills. If this is a piece of art that you would like to keep a little bit longer, after you're done with the project. Just add another piece of contact paper over the top to seal everything inside. If you do that, you can then use some dry erase markers and they can draw pictures on it as well. And then you can just wipe it off when they're done. It works kind of like a plastic covered placemat. Works perfect to draw on with those dry erase markers. For our craft today, we're gonna need some dark blue and light blue paper, some glue, some cotton balls. And if you have any extra yellow paper from our lightning bolts we used on our rain wall, you can use that here as well. Let's see what we're gonna make today. The first thing you're gonna need is a large letter R. I have provided this stencil on our Facebook post for you to make it easier, or you can draw your own. Now you will need to take this and trace it onto some dark blue paper. A nice handy trick is when you're tracing it, trace it backwards so that if you mess up like I did or you draw off onto your your blue paper you won't see those mistakes anywhere when you cut it out. So this was my stencil and I have cut one and put together our craft here on dark blue paper. And this is R for rain. So I've added some cotton balls here at the top for clouds, some small lightning bolts, and some small light blue raindrops. Your little ones can put these on there however they would like, just like we did with our rain wall. 
So it just uses a little bit of the white school glue and that does dry clear. So you do not have to worry about it making a mess anywhere. There's no right or wrong way to add these items on here. Just see what it looks like when you're done because all rainstorms are different. And we would love to see what your little one has created if you would like to share them with us. I hope you enjoyed our story time today and that you'll join us again next week as we continue to read and learn together.